everyone. Thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles in Collecting, where we're going to take a look at the Robot Spirits MS06JC Ground Type Zaku 2 JC version anime. This mobile suit was featured in Mobile Suit Gundam 8th MS Team, a 12 episode original video animation that ran from January 1996 through July of 1999. It was also compiled into a one hour movie. The more realistic setting and interpretation of the One Year War has made Gundam 8th MS Team one of the most popular Gundam series. This figure came out in February 2022 and retailed for 7,150 yen, or about $61 US. We're also going to take a look at the Robot Spirits 8th MS Team Optional Part Set version anime. This set came out in February 2022 and retailed for 3,850 yen, or about $33 US. So I was hoping to uh, do this video last week, but unfortunately my shipment got caught up at customs. So uh, that was that was that. But this is going to be the first figure from the 8th MS Team Robot Spirits line. Uh, they're going to be coming out over the course of the next probably three or four months. And I'm really looking forward to them. What I think is really cool that they're doing with this is really expanding on the kind of premise of the Robot Spirits line. I'll start uh, showing everything here while I am talking. But just kind of having a lot of parts that interact with each other, having a lot of uh, the figures, having little pieces that kind of can recreate different poses um, from the show and, you know, different iconic things. Kind of a little bit of what we saw with the, um, um, you know, like kind of with the destiny and the impulse. And I mean, the, the version anime line has definitely been doing that a little bit. We've seen it uh, with the with the uh, Gundam 80 uh, War in the Pocket and definitely some stuff from the original Gundam, but I don't know. They seem to be taking it to another level with the 8th MS team, and I'm, I'm really digging it. So there's also an option part set that I'm going to take a look at after this, um, and I'll you know definitely be exploring the different option parts as we um, kind of go through the different figures. So yeah, I mean, this one is, you know, you're going to get your pretty standard Zaku stuff. You got the Zaku uh, cannon, you got the Zaku hammers, uh, the Zaku itself... Um, kind of all the hands and it has kind of the two uh, vernier effect parts to kind of show momentum. So yeah, with that in mind, let's move on and take a look at the option part set. So we'll take a look at that here. So I think that the main figures that this is the option part set are obviously this Zaku that I'm looking at right now and the uh, RX-79G Gundam ground type. And uh, presumably those parts will also work with the with the desert type one as well so yeah these have some really cool ones just kind of like this cool blast effect uh, these are really cool it's kind of just like the sand effect it's kind of like being blown in the background there's some really cool poses that they recommend for those again these are just more kind of like just showing kind of dust and sand blowing this We'll probably get to take a look at it next week in more detail, but it's like you stick the shield in there and then you could use it, um, you know, to kind of like aim a rifle. It's got another uh, rocket launcher here. And then these are the rockets being aimed again, kind of showing the air in the background. Uh, here's a missile being aimed. This is for the Zaku. We'll, we'll see this in more detail when I do the posing, but this is like when its arm gets chopped off. So that's that's really cool. Uh, and I'm not sure what this is. It's some sort of, you know, storage resupply deck or something like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get to posing this. Probably not going to use all of these today, but we will see all of these kind of in use over the course of, you know, like I said, the next months as, as I go through the 8th MS team. And I think most of these should probably be use, useful with all of the different robot anime, robot spirits version anime stuff, you know, not just the 8th MS team ones, though it might look a little out of place. And anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes with some final thoughts. All right, and we are back. So let's get this guy on the rotating stand and I'll give some uh, final thoughts. So this figure is awesome. I love the way it looks. I love the colors, uh, just the difference in the color, the different shades of green is really nice. I love these, I don't know what these things are, but they're cool, hydraulics or something. Those are cool. It just has like, even though it's a regular Robot Spirits figure, it just has a more premium feel than some of the other 
um, robot spirits. I feel like that I've, that I've looked at in the past. And um, if this is kind of the start of the eighth MS team stuff, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, you know where it goes. Kind of the one issue that I had, and I don't think you could really see it um, in the video, is that so it has this you know option part where you could kind of rip out the arm and put this like damaged arm which is really cool and i ripped out the arm as you were supposed to do i didn't rip anything i didn't take any other thing out that you're not supposed to but there was like some glue attached to it um, which is a little concerning but um you know the new piece went in fine but i guess just you know be careful like i said i, I you know i followed the instructions it was the correct arm which is the left arm i'm not quite sure why there was glue on that but uh, I was able to, to wipe it off and, and hopefully it's, it's not poisonous. Um, I had also mentioned that there was like a little square piece earlier that I wasn't sure what it did. So it, it actually clicks into the shield. There's basically two parts. One is so that you could have some like effects like showing it blow up or something like that. And then one is just so that it, the shield just looks like smooth. Um, but all in all, this is a great figure. I think it, like I said, it looks great, uh, feels great, the colors are great. A lot of cool poses you could do with it. A um, lot of good effects parts. You know, I, I unfortunately only got to use one or two of them. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you had enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate our like or subscribe. And if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. If there's any figures you want to see or any comparisons you want to see, tell me about it in the comments and uh, I'll see what I could do. I normally do figure reviews on Wednesday and that's typically trying to focus on new things from the last few weeks or last few months. Uh, and then a few Fridays a month, I do some kind of older figure reviews, just sort of going through the backlog of, of some stuff that I have, but uh, never got around to opening. And please join me for next Wednesday's episode, where we're going to continue the 8th MS Team love with the RX-79G Gundam Ground Type Robot Spirits version anime. Thanks so much, and keep collecting.